Okay, one last thing on demons and, and, and people and emotions. So in the show, The Exorcist, not only do the demons try to sidetrack the priest by targeting their emotions on negative things, but when the priests want to try to bring a person, like essentially make the person's own spirit stronger than the demons, they also try to target the emotions of the person under the possession. So they'll start talking to the person, you know, even if the demon's talking, they'll start talking as if the person is there and say, remember this and remember that, or sing songs that would trigger that person's memories and hearts again trying there's because emotion the emotions are powerhouse the emotions are power i think that everything comes from powerful powerful and strong emotions every action so yeah so the priests try to trigger the person who's under the possession to bring them back to have them fight and come back into the possessing their own bodies um, so I just think that's, that's interesting. It's an interesting thought. Uh, and I think that emotions are very powerful and, um, can be, we can be yielded and wielded for, you know, for our benefit. Emotions are, can be very effective. That's why they say you have to watch your thoughts. Because your thoughts and beliefs will trigger these powerful emotions. And you want to be able to maneuver that to benefit you. You know, like we have a whole, we have something within us that can benefit us if we, if we, if we move it the right way, if we use it the right way. And I think emotions are a powerhouse for that so yeah let's develop positive powerful emotions and I guess one way to do that is to heal our wounds and uh, heal our doubts I guess as well to address them really address them because I don't know about you but there's things in my life that uh, oh the emotion of fear too that's a huge one sometimes in life there's there's things you're like running from and you feel like you've been running from it your whole life um, just crazy because in the show the exorcist the one uh, main character in season one, um, her daughter becomes possessed and she goes to the church and yada yada, but she doesn't reveal the fact that she as a child experienced demonic possession as well. And they were upset with her for hiding that because what happened was that this demon lost her and came back after her through her daughter. She, he, the demon really wanted her, though, because when she was a child, he lost her. He got, you know, extracted. And at the end of season one, when her daughter's fighting for her life, um, they're trying to get this demon out of her daughter. She, you know, well, she tells the demon, fine, you can take me. So that's what it wanted. So it took her. And the family and the priest thought, Yay, we got the demon out of this, you know, this teenager girl or whatever. But they didn't know that because she said it quietly. So they didn't know that it went into the mother, that they didn't really cast the demon out of the girl. The mother allowed the demon to transfer to her body. So, but then they eventually found out because <laughs> the mother did not act like the mother, obviously. And, you know, eventually it revealed itself. And, um, what happened was that in the show, 
they showed that the mom inside, in her spirit or whatever, was hiding in a room. And it was a room that she wouldn't let the demon in or whatever. I think it just represented that she stayed in this room hiding from the demon. It was like representative of her running from this demon her whole life. And she finally decided to face it because it was going to kill her family through her, through her body. So she opened the door in her spirit, whatever. This is showing the spirit realm. And um, she's like, she starts fighting the demon and she kills it, like in the spirit or whatever. But then she dies too. So, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. What am I talking about? She didn't die. No, I thought she died. She didn't die, but she she faced it. Essentially, she faced her fear and um, killed it. And she didn't die. So, yeah, something about, you know, uh, fear is powerful. Running from our, from what we fear. Um, we probably, many people probably have that. Um, facing our fears. That's a big one. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's easier said than done.